this season's, I guess you could say most popular color. Of course, red is a hue we love come Valentine's Day, but designer Lauren Oviet is encouraging us to embrace it in our home decor year round. Great to see you, friend. So we were chatting in our production meeting and the idea came up that we revisited the idea of the red wall. Do you remember the red wall? <laughs> that was like a dark, sad accent wall. Why did this we do that? Not that? Okay, okay, no, so this is not that. we've pushed beyond the red wall, but why do you like red yeah. in home decor? Well, I think red is like just the happiest color. Red says, I'm interesting, come party with me. Like it there's does. something very energetic and warm and very friendly about red. So I had so much fun pulling this together. I think it is a color that people can use all year round and really no matter your design style. I have seen red used really successfully in all sorts of styles. So from Americana to... Right, right. so like the, the things you think of first are like patriotic, sure. preppy, sure. coastal, but like European. If you think of like old European cottages, okay. loving red yeah. and you know, Eastern, European or maybe even like Asian influences. There's red found in every single design style. And we were chatting before the show, there are so many holidays, not just Valentine's Day, that lend themselves toward this hue. So it becomes a natural backdrop for those holiday parties yeah, or those yes, seasonal decorations. Yes, totally, it's so much fun. So Valentine's obviously is yeah. like red, pink splashed everywhere, yes. right, wherever you can. But going into the summer, so 4th of July, I mean really all summer long, that red, fun, happy color is so welcome. And then into Christmas. So it's like there are just ways that you can incorporate red all year round. And I do think it's a really fun, inviting shade. Show us and teach us where we might play red at home. Because it can be, you describe the energy that comes with it. That can also carry a little bit of intimidation and overwhelm. Yes. The bathroom, should we start yes. there? Small space? Yeah, so small spaces. And I feel like if you love red, you love red. But the reds that I'm talking about are not the brown reds. Okay. Okay, so we're talking about kind of that more intense, really truly hue saturated red. So in cabinetry, it's beautiful. You see the bottom of a tub oh painted red. Goodness. I mean, it's so beautiful. But another thing you really need to focus on when we're looking at these photos is this is red paired with white, mm. okay? This is not red paired with maroon or hunter green or anything like that. It's not heavy. The red is allowed to pop and to sing because it is paired with these beautiful crisp colors and bright, vibrant colors. So that's really important. Casing, you say, is one place where we could afford to see some yes, red. like red trim. I mean, it's like a red lipstick, right? Or like your red nails. It's very punctuating. So if you love the red, use it in a space like a red door or like a red trim around the door. It's so much fun. All right, next on your list, wallpaper. Mm -hmm. Which I mean, most always. people, if they're going for wallpaper, they're embracing bold. Right, yeah, so you're right. It's a, it's a brave de decorator right there. But red paired with, again, like really happy shades or like in a really pretty interesting pattern where the red is allowed to sort of echo around the room. A lot of these images that I pulled, I mean, some of these are so old. I won't even tell you how old some of these rooms are because so classic. they still ring true today. Okay. Okay, so um, a lot of these images are successful because the red is allowed to echo. You'll see red in the wallpaper, red in that beautiful piece of artwork, uh -huh. red in the trim that goes around the, the window covering in the room. So we've talked about this a lot over the years, but picking a color and echoing it and repeating it around the room so it has more impact. It becomes a whole story as mm -hmm. opposed to just a singular moment. Right. This one shocked me, light fixtures. Yeah, of course. Red light fixtures? I mean, if you can buy a spray can, then you can have <laughs> red anything. Okay. But again, like we're talking about, I mean, how impactful are oh, things like cute. this? Where yes. Otherwise, it's a neutral room and maybe you say, okay, this year I'm doing red and I want to bring it out in sort of easy ways, so to speak, mm -hmm. of, yeah, buying a can of spray or you know, having a red stool next to a red lamp. I mean, instantly that pairing right there makes it sing. Mm -hmm. A red stool and the red fixture there, it just allows like a conversation and something really interesting going on in the room. And so it brings that fun into the space. What about textiles, Lauren? Like uh, drapes or bedding, is that too much? No, but what I will say about textiles is when you're looking at uh, memos or fabrics close up, you'll see the red. Sometimes from afar, smaller scaled patterns can go pink. So if you love a little ticking stripe or like a little mini check or something, make sure you do like the stand away and squint because sometimes that red, if it's not saturated enough, can come off pink. But I love red paired with white again in stripes and stars and really 
classic patterns, which will always be fun and timeless. Aside from white, the crispness that allows that red to pop, as you said, what are some other color ways that it could mm -hmm. pair well with? Yeah, well, this time of year, pink. Like sure. Any shade of pink. I love red and pink. But I love red with blue, and I feel like that will definitely go like more Americana or more preppy or like a little boy's room, but different shades of blue, everything from like a powder blue to a navy blue is really beautiful with that bright, true red. Um, green is fabulous. What color Always. of green? I like that good evergreen, like a true green, not too grassy, but like kind of right there in the middle. Okay. Um, I love it with yellow, like really beautiful. But okay. with all these things that I'm naming, like there's no color that's gonna trump red. So we pair it with green, like it's the leaf on the red rose. So it's a companion. We yes. pair it with soft pink, red still sings. So don't try to pair red with something that's going to take over. clash or yeah, yeah, take over or overpower that red. And I think you may have touched on this, but any hues of red we should avoid, the rust. Yeah, I think yeah. the rust is gone. I mean, unless you're really like kind of going down like the trend rabbit hole. Uh -huh. But I think for most of us, like just that true classic red is so, so timeless and happy. I think for anyone out there considering any sort of a room refresh or a remodel, you've just planted some new, happy, vibrant ideas in our minds. Thank you so much. Where can we get more design advice from you? Well, daily I'm sharing on Instagram, so that's kind of like a up to the minute, but I also have a website too at laurenoviet.com. It's so fun to look at your Instagram. It is an up to the minute portfolio of all of these fantastic projects. So visit her there. We'll link you from our website. Thank you again.